Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, male and female. He created them. Welcome to Daily Devotions from Cram and Kirk on Thursday the 2nd of July. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, right divine King, within my conscience reign. Be my law and I shall be firmly bound, forever free. Amen. Women in the Bible. And today's woman was at the very end of her tether. St Luke, was he a doctor? Reports that she had been bleeding for 12 years and to make matters worse, she had spent all she had seeking medical help and advice without success. Physically exhausted, financially ruined, at a time when we are emerging slowly from lockdown, this woman's condition meant that she was locked down and locked out of home and family, her circle of friends, even the synagogue would have been close to her, completely isolated. Her story resonates with every woman, with every person who, for whatever reason, has reached the end of their tether. And as Jesus walked past, all she could do was to grab the edge of his cloak. Sometimes it's all any of us can do. And it's enough. If you'd like to follow the story, you'll find it in Luke chapter 8. And I'm going to read from verse 43. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. And though she had spent all she had on physicians, no one could cure her. She came up behind Jesus and touched the fringe of his clothes. And immediately... Her hemorrhage stopped. Then Jesus asked, Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter said, Master, the crowd surround you and press in on you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me, for I noticed that power had gone out from me. When the woman saw that she could not remain hidden, she came trembling, and falling down before him, she declared in the presence of all the people, why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. He said to her daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. God of light, you cause the sun to rise and chase away the shadows of the night. You come as light for our darkness, hope for our despair, healing for our wounds. We cannot imagine what it must be like to have awakened this morning with no food for breakfast, no clean water running from our taps. In the comfort of our own homes, we cannot imagine what it must be like to be a refugee or homeless. And in the peace of this land, we cannot imagine the horror of being caught up in conflict and civil war. And so we pray today for all who live in need and for whom today will bring hunger, violence and hardship. Bless all who are the world's peacemakers, building bridges of trust, fighting against the evils of poverty and disease and seeking to bring about change for the better. And as once by word and touch a woman found healing and hope, bring healing and hope to all who are sick. Strengthen those who are treating and caring for them. And in all the uncertainty of these difficult days, keep our hope and faith strong in the victory of your love. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whose words we gladly pray together, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Let's